Welcome to another edition of Tech Tips. My name is Basir, and this week we'll be talking about the modular command. The modular command is a tool used for if you have the same unit layout, same exact walls with openings in the same location multiple times throughout the project. This could be used for a hospital where you might have the same room or an apartment building where you have the same uh, units for 20, 30, 40 floors. Now, what the modular command allows you to do is instead of framing those 20 units one by one, you're able to frame one of them, have it framed the way you like it, and then copy that framing over to those other similar panel. So what I have here is a simple L-shaped unit with a door and two openings. What I did is simply group them together, so the openings along with the walls grouped into one, and simply copied the group over three stories. So again, this could be multiple stories. I'm simply going to go back to them. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to select all my walls and place my joints prior to creating the framings as the joints will not copy over to them with the modular command. So I have my auto join set up. Simply run the auto join and place all my joints for all three of my floors. All right. And now what I'm able to do is simply create it for this first floor and then copy it over on my other two floors. Now you'll notice that you cannot select the group to create the floor. It will not allow you as you need to select a wall, not a group. So I'm going to do is I'm simply going to hit the tab button, select all these six walls, hit the create button. I have my 400S template right down here as a four inch uh, walls. Simply create them and they get created in no time, all six panels, just like so. Now, what I can do with these six panels is make any modifications I want to them, make change of family I want, the way these openings are framed, uh, the spacing of my panels, make any changes to the properties I want, and then copy them over to my other two floors. Now, the way I could do that is you have four different ways of using the modular command. We'll run through every single one of them. Now, the first one, which is copy members in all identical groups, simply select a group that is framed, for example, this bottom one, and simply say that you want to copy it on all your identical groups. <coughs> Excuse me. What it's going to do is it's going to copy that those members on my next, on my other two floors. Now you'll notice that these panels that are being created are independent panels with no relationship to their to these bottom panels. Now you, if you take a look, you'll notice that this um, this panel is called panel ten on the bottom one, but it's called panel sixteen and panel twenty two in the uh, floors above them. Even if they are the same panels, they have their own label and they're their own independent panels. I'm able to go inside this specific one and make any changes I want to them. It's not going to affect my other panel. Now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to undo it. You notice that the copy module, copy members and all identical groups can look throughout the whole project, look for identical groups, and frame all of them. Now we might not want to frame all of them. For example, this third floor might be prone to some change. We just want to frame this second floor down up here. So what we can do is kind of do the reverse of what we did. It select a group that isn't framed and simply say that you want to copy members from a group that is framed. So this bottom one. <coughs> and it's going to frame the bottom one uh, with the same exact property. Let's give it a minute here. Notice that just that bottom one changed. Like I mentioned, these pounds are independent, so I, I'm able to select all the bottom floors and realize that I do not want 
to have the matrix in the interspacing, I want it to change all the panels to two feet spacing, for example. I'm going to go ahead and hit two feet, hit OK. Let that change take place. And you'll notice that the top floors did not have that change because, like I mentioned, they're independent. So what I'm able to do is I'm able to select this bottom group with that new spacing and simply so that you want to match properties on all identical groups. What it's going to do is it's going to uh, notice that the second floor does not have the same properties. It's going to match them. What it's also going to do is that third floor, since it has no panels, it is going to create new panels with the properties being matched to that bottom one. Give it a second here, and all three groups were framed accordingly. Now, similar to the copy tools, we have the match properties for a single group. So match properties from a group. So like I mentioned, we might go back into the properties of the bottom floor, click all panels, and I'm going to go ahead and change it back to 16 inches. Hit, the, hit OK. Let that change happen. And I'm going to go ahead and match that second floor to have that change, but not third floor. So I'm going to go ahead and select that second group that I want to match properties from my bottom group. I'm going to match it only on that secondary group and not the other one above. And that is what the modular command is used for. So you're able to uh, essentially model all your similar groups, a specific one, make changes to them. Again, this could be used as just kind of a beginning framing, just to frame all of them identically. And then you're able to go individually into every single one of them and make individual changes to them, no problem. Thank you very much. This has been Tech Tips.